Here is a demonstration of the electric eel wheel fold in operation. So this is the new electric eel wheel fold prototype and it is very nearly final. I'm very happy with how all of the injection molded parts are working at this point and the electronics are all new, completely new circuit board, all new code and I'm very happy with that at this phase. I still need to do a little bit of testing to make th sure things are final but I just sort of wanted to give you an overview of this version. We'll just put the yarn on the bobbin so I can start taking it apart and can start showing you some of the nice new features. So one thing I wanted to show you is the startup profile. So to change a st uh, your profile, you will just plug in the power like this and hold down the foot pedal. And then if you turn the speed dial, it controls which profile you get. So profile zero is sort of that limited speed, closed feedback. Profile one is the full speed and then uh, profile two is the is the open loop version and you also saw it displayed the voltage there for a minute and now it's sort of waiting for me to press the foot pedal to start spinning so now i can show you what the full speed is in this mode so here at about half we're at the 1500 rpms that the other speed mode that the other profile maxes out at and if we continue going, we've got over 3,000 RPMs at maximum speed. Another thing I put into this is these types of battery packs with these cables, when you're not running the motor, will sometimes turn off. So I added a special option in there that actually uses a little bit of extra power for a fraction of a second every 10 seconds, which keeps these battery packs running all the time instead of letting them turn off sometimes when you turn down the power. However, if I turn the switch off, that mode also goes off and then this battery pack would turn off as well um, after about 30 seconds. So I've mentioned the circuit board a little bit before, but inside this is an all new circuit board. And like I said, it uh, helps do things like keep the battery pack on, but it also has options to display errors. So it'll say E here and then like a number after the E. And that's just to debug uh, cases that I've seen in past versions of the spinning wheel that were hard to debug. For example, sometimes power supplies will have too low a voltage and people don't understand what's wrong. Well, this will now just tell you Oh, your power supply is the wrong voltage by displaying an error, which we can look up online. Uh, it'll also tell you if the power supply is too high a voltage. It has some errors relating to failed uh, electronics on the circuit board. So uh, it's got lots of things that will help make things more uh, easy to troubleshoot. It also has features that make the motor last longer, things that help keep the... Uh, voltage going to the motor more consistent, which should make it last longer than previous controllers that I've made. So lots of improvements there. I'm really happy I did it, even though it ended up taking a lot longer than I thought, but um, that's good. Uh, the sliding hooks on this version are a new design, and I really think that they're uh, top notch. And other than that, all of the plastic mold pieces are now um, have a really nice finish to them and everything is fitting together really well. So now I'll just show off the folding aspect of it since that is refined for this version. So there's now these O-rings that make everything fit together really well and have a great feeling to them. And you can just move a flyer like that. These pieces fold back like that. And then all you do is you just fold that piece in there like that. You can fold this piece in like that. And then on the bottom, you slide off your hooks. And there's a little storage place for the hooks and I'll just put one of those in there for now, but uh, you can definitely put all of those in there. The flyer is held in place like that. And then you just put the pieces back together like this. And 
it's ready to go. So there'll definitely be some more videos about the electric eel fold coming out as we get ready, as it goes into production and I need to get tutorials and things like that put up. So that's all in the works, but uh, overall this prototype is getting to the point where it's very close to the final one and we should be able to start production very soon. I'll keep you updated on when production actually starts. It might still be a few months. Things tend to take a while for that sort of thing, but uh, I'm really happy with the progress and thanks for watching.